when it comes to OSPF and EIGRP and RIP, we are affected by the passive interface commands. Now, passive interface for OSPF and EIGRP works the same way. And it is silence the protocol on these interfaces and stop listening on these interfaces as well. But the big one is silence the protocol. No hellos are going to be communicated out that interface. And so there's no opportunity for a neighborship. So let's say we find ourselves on a device and we do a show IP OSPF neighbor and we don't see any neighbors. Well, passive interface could be at play here. We do a show IP protocols and we can see passive interfaces very clearly coming up in this output. Now that's a lot of interfaces, isn't it? And if we look at the running config, I'm going to look at OSPF. I'm going to see this command that we that should just send off warning signs. Passive interface default. What that says is turn the protocol off in terms of not communicating on all of the interfaces. And you have to override that to turn it back on. So there's no hope of any adjacencies until we prune off some of the interfaces from this. Now the way that we correct this typically is we do a no passive interface unless the specific interface where we want to turn it back on. And so we should see an adjacency come back online. I do a show IP OSPF. And we can see we have our adjacencies reformed. Good. So passive interface can really burn you for OSPF and EIGRP.